Good morning, Dr. Tom here. I wanted to check in with you, it's Thursday morning. There was a governor's dress yesterday and first off I just wanna say, I miss you. I miss you guys, I miss the energy here. I love having extra time with my family, I do. But I miss you guys. And I wanted to make this video to update you on three things. Number one, the current state of the clinic, what we're doing next week, starting next week. Number two, a text message that you will be receiving next week. I wanna make you aware of that. And then the third thing is we're gonna discuss the governor's address yesterday and some of the things that he talked about. So first off, clinic update, we are open next week. We have good news. We are open next week starting Monday morning at 7 a.m. Now you know that we've been considered essential throughout this entire process. And we are allowed to be open following the guidelines. So we sanitize ourselves, we sanitize our tables, social distancing to ensure your and our safety as we see people to keep people well and keep them out of the ER and urgent care and just keep you guys well amidst everything that's going on. One thing, if for some reason we get a flood of people, which we're doing a good job to avoid this at this time, getting you in and out as fast as possible to get you boosted and get you home. But if we get a flood of people, we will be limiting the number of people in the clinic. So Courtney will say, hey, it's a beautiful day outside. Wait outside for three minutes. When the next person walks out, you can come in at that time. So we're gonna follow these guidelines again to ensure your safety and our safety at this time. Second thing, you will get a text next week. It's gonna be your reminder text of your appointment that you currently have scheduled. If you wanna change the time, just text back and let us know. If you're coming at that time, great, you don't need to do anything. But if you're like, hey, I, um, I, I feel personally feel safer taking the next two weeks off and then starting up at that time and doing my makeups, just please don't just ignore that text. Please, please, please text Courtney back so that we can be aware and we can schedule accordingly everything here. So just say, hey, I'll be in in two weeks. Or if you're in another group where you're like, I am sick of working on my laptop on my couch or I'm stressed, I'm now being required to teach my kids school and nothing is the way I learned it just because everything has changed. Um, it's crazy. But um, if you're like, hey, I know I desperately need to get adjusted. However, I don't know if I feel safe at this time. What other options do you have for getting adjusted? Text us back and we'll let you know a few other options that we have at this time just with everything going on at this time. Third thing, governor's address. We took two weeks off. We closed the clinic for two weeks. We wanted to be a part of the solution at the beginning of this thing. And as he told us yesterday, things are going well, things are looking great, okay? That is a positive thing. Now, we need to be a part of the solution in another way. Here's the deal. We're trying to avoid people getting into the ER. We are open right now for new patients for new patients. Because if you have a neighbor that has migraine headaches and all of a sudden they're so bad they have to go into the ER, get an IV, that, that's taking our healthcare professionals away from dealing with what's going on right now. Okay, so we are open for new patients to keep people out of the ER, out of urgent care if there's pain and they're herniated disc or whatever it may be, I wanna make you aware of that. We are open for you to keep you healthy, keep your stress down, your stress response down at this time. And it's so critical. The governor, or the governor rather, talked yesterday about how roughly 25% of the people that are exposed to COVID, their body keeps it in check. Right, and this is any virus in the, in the, in, with influenza or the flu in the fall. Like you, so many people are exposed. I think it's roughly 50% of the people that are exposed, their body keeps it in check. They never have symptoms. They develop antibodies and therefore they're then immune to it, right? But who develops that? The people with healthy nervous systems and immune systems or the people with unhealthy immune systems? With unhealthy, they're not going to develop those antibodies. So the key is what can we be doing right now to ensure that our nervous, our immune systems are functioning as optimally as possible so that even if or when, or when we are exposed to this virus, our immune systems, we are functioning well and healing well, that we don't even get the, we don't deal with the symptoms everybody else is dealing with. Our body develops these antibodies and we never even knew. And then we take one of those serum tests and we're like, oh, yep, I have antibodies, great, I didn't even know. That's the key. And so when you're in here getting adjusted next week, we're gonna be talking about what are the other things I can be doing at this time to strengthen my immune system, 
I, I have the whole day where I'm at home. When is the best time to exercise in order to ensure a good night's sleep, which is massive for strengthening your immune system? What, what should the temperature in my house be? What food should I be eating? If you're not taking vitamin D, you need to be taking vitamin D at this time and what other simple things can I do so that I can stay healthy at this time, even if I'm exposed to this thing at some point, okay? Last thing I want to leave you with is just a question. Um, it's, it's, you are experiencing something right now. I can't promise, but I can very strongly say you will likely never experience something like this again in your entire life and you have extra time at home, your families, your kids are at home. And so the question is, what will you be thankful that you did? What memories are you making with your kids? What adventures are you having in this crazy time? Or, or even for yourself, I would encourage you, get out, take a hike every single day and just obtain a healthier emotional health at this time. Rather than this downward spiral that everyone else is going through, let's be different. Let's, let's become healthier. Let's become stronger. Read those books that you have sitting on yourself. Every one of you have those where you bought them. And <laughs> I have those too. And it's like, I want to read those. I know that like, do something for yourself. Let's grow at this time. Let's make the absolute most of it. And again, it's going to be okay. We're going to get through this. I love you guys. I'm here for you. I'm so excited to see you next week. And, um, just let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Excited to see you again. Have a great day.